All right, Pisces. So I got this really big download this morning when I was meditating. I heard thinking out of sight, out of mind was going to help them move on, but it didn't. I feel like this person's really in their head. I'm getting someone who's constantly thinking about a situation, a circumstance, a person, a conversation, things that haven't been said. I'm getting it a little bit of a merry-go-round, but we're going to see. What did I just say? Yeah. Someone's feeling burdened, overwhelmed, weighed down. <clears throat> we're going to see what's coming out. Guys, don't forget about the giveaway at 30,000 subscribers. I'm going to give away some Amazon gift cards. I got a tarot deck to give away. I'm going to give away some merch. Also, some personal readings. You can like, comment, subscribe, and share. I will pick someone as soon as we hit 30,000. If you want a reading through me, that booking information is in the description. As well as my tarot course if you want to learn tarot with me. It is a it is a do it at your own pace course. <clears throat> yeah, somebody here's at a crossroads, evaluating what path to choose, feeling a little confused. You know what I just heard also was feeling confused about the illusion that they brought into this situation. For some of you, this person was in straight up fucking denial. All right, how's this person viewing Pisces? The hanged man flipped. So that could be you changing your perspective. That could also be you viewing this connection as something that's stuck, something that really gives you anxiety, something that you feel like brings a sense of chaos, a sense of, I'm getting a, this connection's a little uncontrollable. It's like when you guys indulge in it, although it could be fun and passionate, there's a sense here that neither one of us knows where it's going. So this person views you as someone who, you know, you've been showing up as the queen of air. So someone who's very logical, truthful, and you want this circumstance and the situation to be fair. I feel like they're also viewing you as someone who could have a lot of fear, who, you know, you're holding back. There's an energy here of really holding conversations and the things that you have and the things that you have going on to your chest. Give me more. There's also something here where this person could be feeling like you're resting, taking a step back from them. Queen of Fire coming out like this, not really taking action towards them. They view you as someone who's very strong, independent, abundant, charismatic, passionate. But again, I'm getting a little bit of you losing hope, feeling that this was a stuck circumstance or situation. Interesting. How do they feel towards this? <clears throat> they feel that there's been a lack of a new beginning when it comes to some sort of collaboration. You guys aren't necessarily collaborating the way that they want to. They could want to tell you something, communicate something to you, let you know something. What is this? What are they feeling So when this reading started, I kept hearing that song, I want to lick you from your head to your toes. So I don't know if somebody's been listening to that, if that's a song you guys have heard together, if that's a song that they're um, listening to and thinking about you. How do they feel towards you? Yeah, there's an energy here of breadcrumbing. Not giving you what you need, what you deserve, what they need to invest to keep this going. They feel that there's been a lack of a new beginning. And it could definitely have to do with a decision. Someone not making a choice or using their head over heart. <clears throat> I'm hearing that song, um, Girl, I've Always Loved You. What's the lyrics? Girl, I've Always Loved You something's changed all of a sudden it's i don't remember blame it on the time the road or the wine but it ain't the same there's a different kind of feeling not the one i knew 
Okay, anyways, in the song it says, girl, I've always loved you, and I don't love you like I used to. This gets harder every time you kiss. That's interesting. You guys might not feel as strong for this connection as you once did. And this person could feel that something here's changed. They feel that there's a lack of a new beginning. They feel that there's really not collaboration or you guys honestly trying to make this work. They feel that they could want to communicate something to you. It could have to do with breadcrumbing or them not investing at all. But they could definitely feel that you don't feel the same. And that could, you know, it's interesting because I feel like this person is, it's an energy of, well, yeah, this is what I deserve. And I know Pisces doesn't feel the same. Because I feel like someone here had to detach. And maybe even find something to blame for the reason that this didn't work or the reason that it fell apart to make it easier to walk away. Again, changing your perspective. Maybe there was even some sleepless nights for you to get to this point, get to this decision, get to this place where you felt like, okay, I'm no longer taking action. I'm no longer coming after you. You know, the Queen of Wands doesn't chase. She's not a chaser, but she is the kind of person who will attract people and maybe even entertain offers. She's very flirtatious. She's very charismatic. She doesn't really set people up for failure, making them think that they're going to get something that they're not, but she's also very mysterious. She has this way of coming to the table and making you think she's going to give you all your wildest dreams when in reality, she didn't have to say anything at all. You just took her energy and you ran with it. That's the kind of energy I get with this Queen of Wands. But you choosing yourself, you resting, you healing, you detaching. But now this person feels that you're very independent and confident. And, okay, so what's their insecurity here? Because I feel like there's an insecurity. Could have to do with your stability. Ooh, it could have to do. So there's two things here. There could either be a truth that you told this person or there is something here that this person's learned about you and I feel like it's made them insecure what else are they feeling towards Pisces right now they could also be keeping tabs on you trying to find out some sort of information about what you're doing what you have going on they feel that you've moved out of rough waters into calmer waters. Why do I feel like this person is 150% saying, yeah, I feel like Pisces has moved on. Things have turned in your favor. You went, you did the work, you healed, and it's showing. There's a sense here where this person feels like you're very stable, you're grounded, you're abundant. And whatever the circumstance or the situation is that you went through with them, it didn't, it didn't rock you. It made you stronger. So how do they view this connection? Oh, so there could have been conflict, chaos, wanting to come out of that, feeling like they were, okay, so there's an energy here of them being unsure how to get out of an energy of you guys not being on the same page. There could have been other people involved. There could have been arguments, not being on the same page, fears of commitment, wounds coming up. They view this connection as something that I feel like they weren't willing to necessarily see, that they weren't giving equally, not wanting to see that they weren't willing to invest. They didn't put in the work. They didn't put in the time. Give me more for how they do this connection. Not wanting to see maybe some chaos that was going on, reflecting a lot, feeling left out missing you, missing this connection, missing the way you made them feel, missing the way you would talk to them. Here's the thing, and I'm getting this strongly, is sometimes in our life, we will be brought people who make us feel so good, who raise our vibration and make us feel so loved and accepted. And we really have a hard time seeing those people sometimes. And we can sometimes take them for granted until it's gone. And I feel like this person views this connection as something that they didn't necessarily give to equally. They've been doing a lot of self-reflection. Why wasn't I willing to fight for this? Why wasn't I willing to give to this equally? Why did I not put in the effort? You know, I really blinded myself to this whole situation and this whole connection. 
and maybe just wanted to make it passion. Maybe I just wanted to see the passion. Maybe I just wanted to have fun. But there's something here that come out of nowhere. What is it that come out of nowhere with this tower? I feel like it's something this person didn't expect. Oh, sweet baby. Nine of Cups. So this could be multiple things. This person could have seen you as some sort of wish fulfillment. Or this person could be doing a lot of self-reflection that they didn't want to get too close to you. How they view this connection is maybe them not actually getting what they deserve. Having a wall up, a guard up, a boundary up. Give me more for this Nine of Cups. Because they view this connection as something that they gave into. But they, okay, so I'm going to be honest. This person could have gave into this connection at a time in their life where they were selfishly doing what they wanted to do. The Five of Swords is an energy of... This is what I want to do, and I'm going to do it. This is what makes me happy. That's all I'm concerned about right now. And I feel like this person really views you as something that made them happy. They viewed you as like, hell yeah, it can't get better. You know, a wish fulfillment doesn't always have to be like the, the queen or the king of your life. A wish fulfillment can be something as simple as, I'm having a hell of a time and please universe bring me someone to lighten it up because I want to laugh again. And it could be something as simple as that. You being brought into this person's life to make them feel what it felt to have joy again, to laugh again, to not take life so seriously. And we, as humans, we do that. We really take life way too seriously. We do. And I feel like this person was in that place in their life. I feel like they seen you as a wish fulfillment, but there's also an energy here of, I didn't see this as long lasting. I seen this as a, this is a now, let's do this. This is fun. There could have been a lot of things that were unspoken, but this person also doesn't feel like that they got what they deserved because they weren't willing to take action. Doing a lot of self-reflection of why they were so quick to maybe go to that part of the connection or only want part of that connection. You know, feeling very bound, feeling very guarded. They have a lot of, um, I feel like this person also didn't want to see the truth for the longest time either, to be honest with you. Not wanting to see the truth and not wanting to do the work. What made them change their mind? What made them change their mind? Woo, Queen of Cups. There's an energy here where you are emotionally giving, compassionate, nurturing, caring, vulnerable. The Queen of Cups is a very emotionally open, giving, nurturing person. She loves like she wants to be loved. <sighs> you wanted some sort of new beginning. And I feel like this person had some things that they weren't willing to either let go of. There was a head over heart decision that this person needed to make. And it had to do with them giving emotion and collaborating with you. But there was something here where this person was like, no, 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 never again. I'm not fighting for no one. I'm not fighting for a connection. I'm bound. It ain't happening. Uh, I don't care what you want. I will give to you equally as far as it comes to passion and having fun. Don't ask for my emotions. Don't ask for me to commit to you. It reminds me of that Kevin Gates song, um, Hard For. In that song, it says, okay, I don't even remember the lyrics, but in it, it's saying, you're the only one that my gets hard for. I'm confused. What the do you want my heart for? It's an energy here where this person was perfectly okay and capable with having that part of the connection. Not understanding why maybe you wanted something more. You wanted something deeper. Saying, you know, well, you're the only one who makes me excited. You're the only one who makes me happy. You're the only one who really makes me laugh. Why do you feel that you need my love, my emotion? Why do you feel that you need a commitment? And it was a blockage for this person. Again, the, the reason around this reading is because I had a huge download of this person thinking that you being out of sight, out of mind was going to help them move on from, from this. But all that they're seeing is that you've let this go. You now have a sense of stability, a sense of abundance, a sense of peaceful, calm, um, grounded energy that I feel like this person longs for. 
but wasn't willing to go after. There's either been a truth here that you've spoken or this person has seen something that you've been up to going going through and feeling like they really miss the opportunity to have that fulfilling life with you. And that's when it comes to the questions, well, why wasn't I willing to open myself up to this? Why wasn't I willing to fight for this? Why wasn't I willing to maybe give to this equally? You know, I didn't really put in the work. I didn't really say, yeah, let's make this work. This is the kind of person where it was like, well, I want you to come visit me. I'm not going to come visit you. We're not going to go out to eat. I'm not putting that kind of work in. It was an energy of very minimal effort. I'm only going to put in effort when it comes to what I'm wanting. And once I get what I'm wanting, we're good. That's the energy here with this person. The and what shifted that was that you gave this person emotion. You gave this person love. You cared for this person. And this person could definitely be feeling left out, not wanting to feel left out, feeling that they miss you, feeling that you really completed them, feeling that you really matched them. But there's an energy here where you know you really moved on, feeling hopeful for a new emotional experience. It's like you really wanted someone to give you love. And this person wasn't willing to give you love. They wanted to block it. I feel like you moved on. And I feel like you've gotten to a point where not only... I feel like you miss this person, but it doesn't differentiate between a good day or a bad day. And I feel like this person was in denial. I feel like this person was in denial very detached from their emotions and what they were feeling. As I said that, the moon's on the bottom. Not understanding why they were acting a certain way. They sabotage this. Seeing you go towards new emotional beginnings, feeling, you know, and you have a sense here of I'm hopeful for the future. I'm hopeful for what I'm going to get, knowing you're going to get it, knowing that new passionate experiences are coming. And it's an energy here as well of you knowing that if someone didn't take their shot or an opportunity with you, that is their loss. It's not yours. I feel like whoever you were dealing with, you truly understand that this person had a lot that they had to deal with, a lot that they had to handle, a lot that they had to get control of. And there was a lot to do with this person's shadow side that was coming out. I feel like you don't see this as a missed opportunity anymore. I also feel like you're not even at a point where you think a reunion is going to come back in. But I feel like this person could come in with some sort of communication. They could either message you, text you, write you. But this is a very flirtatious, hey, how you been? Oh, you're looking good, like you should. Wanting to fight for this, wanting to win at all costs. Now, for some of you, there's an energy here as well where in the past, this person wanted to win you at all costs because there was an energy of other people wanting your attention. And once they won you or once they felt like they had you, it was over. Now, that's going to be for some of you. So why did this person think that Pisces being out of sight, out of mind was going to help them move on? Why did this person think Pisces being out of sight, out of mind was going to help them move on? They thought that they would be able to have the strength. You know, it's interesting because the first thing I've seen on this was the infinity symbol. And I've said this in a reading before, and I'm feeling it strongly in this one. There's an energy here where no matter the distance, the time... You guys always seem to find your way back to one another, whether it's running into one another, working in the same place, finding each other on social media. We can push apart, but we somehow come back together. We always seem to cross paths. And I feel like this person didn't, um, of course, they didn't know that, but this person just doesn't understand. I feel like this person wanted to have the strength to move on, wanting to hold back. But also, I feel like they were holding on to you. This person could have maybe wanted to go out, flirt, keep things light, simple. This person could have not wanted to get into anything too deep that had responsibility attached. You know, when we start getting in commitments and start dating people and courting people, we then have to be... We're responsible for their emotions, what they're feeling, what we put them through. And it can be a lot if we're not ready for it. And I feel like that's where this person was at. This person thought that they needed to have the strength to move on, that they could go out and flirt with other people and do other things. But I feel like all that's happening is that with the time and the seasons that go past, this person gets more weary. This person loses more sleep, feels like they're more in despair. Why did they feel like they needed to move on at a crossroads? Feeling like it's now or never for them to take action. 
feeling like they needed to use their intuition. See, and it's interesting. Do you see how this two of wands, can you see that? Yes, you can. It's back is turned on all the cups. Not wanting to choose being vulnerable. This person was not at a point where they wanted to choose love. It was at a point where it was like, I have a path to choose. I can go in this direction, make me happy, go out, have fun, flirt, do this. Or I can go towards someone that I feel like could fulfill me. I feel like you guys could have had a water child together, um, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Or you could be having a child with this person coming up. That's just going to be for some of you. But I feel like this person, it was like, no, I'm going to turn my back on the possibility of building a family with someone. I want to turn my back on the possibility of being able to come to some, come home to someone and then make me happy or then make it a living hell. This person had a choice to choose and they used their intuition. I feel like they needed to use their intuition anyways because I feel like ultimately it was leading them to heal. Because again, at the beginning of the reading, I said that this person was in denial. And I feel like if this person wouldn't have walked away from you in this, they would have continued to be in denial. They would have continued to have a detached energy. Sometimes when we don't know what we're missing and we don't know what it feels like to go without it, we don't understand how truly big of a blessing it is. I mean, it's kind of like when you lose someone in your life or when, let's say, you wreck a car. You know, if you really take something for granted every day and then the next thing you know it's gone, it really makes you take a step back and appreciate what you have. So I feel like this person had to use their intuition at that point to turn their back on something for this to even get to a point where it could possibly be successful. Because I feel like if you guys would have stayed together... Let's ask, what would have happened if this person in Pisces wouldn't have separated? Yeah, there could have been definite lack of investment when it comes to some sort of stability or foundation. An energy here of not necessarily breadcrumbing, but still not feeling like what you're you're getting what you deserve. I feel like this person had to go work out their karmas. I feel like they had to do some self-reflection. They had to do some healing. They had to do some um yeah, that's it. Resting, healing, rejuvenating. This person had to get in touch with their emotions. There's a sense here where this person needed to get emotionally mature to be able to approach a connection to where it can be healthy. And again, I feel like if this person wouldn't have healed, this person, there was lack of investment. There would have been a constant merry-go-round of you're not breadcrumbing me, but you're not giving me what I want. You know, you're not you're not healed. You're not doing self-reflection. You're not doing work. I feel like this person could have also gotten to an energy of um, the hermit here in the King of Cups is giving me strong energy of we're together for two weeks. I'm gone for five months. We're, the, we're together for two weeks. I'm gone for five months. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I feel like that would have also been a tendency in this connection. As soon as we think it's getting somewhere, it's getting deep detachment. So that would have been a merry-go-round if there wouldn't have been full detachment here. Okay, thinking out of stop, out of mind is going to help them move on. It didn't give us more stability. This relationship can stand the test of time. I feel like this person's longing for you. Yeah, this person does have a sense of red flags, which I mean, come on. I feel like that's a dun da da da. Time to get to know each other. Okay, so there could be a time coming up where this person could want to come back in. Give me more. Is this person coming back in? Yeah, this person's... Okay, so the lover's upright could be making a choice to end something. I feel like this person doesn't want to end this. I feel like they're wanting to give a message of truth. But I feel like they've been holding back. I feel like that's ultimately this person's red flag. This person's red flag is not fighting. Actually, let's ask that. What's this person's red flag? Because I feel like it's not fighting for this. No reunion. I also feel like it's not speaking their truth. You know, sometimes in life when we want something really bad, we will fight for it. Red flag. What's their red flag? There could have also been something here where this person didn't want to make a choice to end something. To walk away from something that they needed to walk away from. Yeah, because of no new beginning. So this person's red flag is that they could definitely hold their self back from speaking truth and clarity when it comes to a reunion. You know, wanting to give 
truth and clarity, wanting to be happy, but also going back and forth. This person is at a place in their life where they could want their cake and eat it too. What do I mean by that? I don't feel like this person wants to be in a monogamous relationship. Did I say that right? I feel like so. I feel like they don't want to be in a monogamous relationship. They want to go out. They want to have fun. They want to be able to flirt. They want to still feel free, but they also want you. And that's the back and forth energy. I feel like that's this person's red flag. When it comes to some sort of reunion, there is still lack of a new beginning. You know, this person, I feel like sometimes uses their head over their heart. Give me more for the red flags. Like it has something to do with a love offer. That's what I was about to say. There's some sort of love offer this person's going to bring you. They're going to offer you something, but I feel like they're going to hold very firmly onto what they're offering you. What do I mean by that? They're going to offer you something, but you still are going to feel like there's either strings attached or like there's still an energy from the past in this. I'm getting very uncomfortable and anxious. I feel like some of you could get offered a, a passionate beginning with this person again. Wanting to reunite in that form. Again, still not wanting a new beginning. This person, that's why they're telling you to take it slow. Because again, this person isn't at a place where they're wanting to make the choice to bring some sort of ending that needs to happen. And for some of you, it's an ending of them giving in to their indulgences, their wish fulfillment. But they have to get that out of their system. You don't want to be in a connection with someone or in a relationship with someone who feels like they need to go out and drink on the weekends at the bar and possibly hook up with somebody while you're sitting at the house taking care of the dog. I feel like this person needs to get it out of their system. But that's a red flag for you. The red flag is that this person is having such a hard time deciding which path that they want. That even when they come in and maybe offer you some sort of love, there's still going to be lack of complete truth. There's still going to be something that they're holding back. And it has to do with fear. But with stability, it's telling me that there's something here where, again, I feel like you two always come back to one another. There's a foundation that I feel like nobody can crumble. Whether it's being acquaintances, friends, or just understanding one another. This doesn't have to be so deep as like, yeah, we're best friends and we live next door to each other. It can be something as simple as, she understands me, I understand her. Or vice versa, he understands me, I understand him. You find a common ground with one another. And I feel like that's where this stability in this relationship com comes in. I watch your social media. Okay, stalker. <laughs> I can't reach out. Mm -hmm. I wish I had treated you better. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. If you're playing me, keep it on the low. I wonder if you're happy without me. Anymore. Yeah, somebody here said, you know, we need to separate because this isn't working. I'm losing faith. I'm not seeing this going anywhere. I feel like this is stuck. This is stagnant. We're going through the same cycle. We can't keep doing this. The other person was like, you know, I get that. But then there's an energy here of, but I wonder if you miss me. I wonder if you want to turn this cycle back around as much as I do. I feel like there's an energy here of someone wanting a reunion. But again, I feel I feel you leaving me behind. I want a reunion. I don't want a reunion like you want a reunion. I'm so fucking tired of this. We don't share the same values. I'm so tired of this same damn reading. It's the same person feeling sexual tension, not feeling financially stable, not wanting to let you go but holding on to you, wanting a reunion but not feeling like they have the guts to come in for a reunion. Let's get the future energy because I'm starting to get annoyed. What's the future energy? No, nope, let's get the... No, nope, let's get a different one. What's the future energy here? Will there be any action taken here? Will there be any action taken for this person? Will there be any action taken? Three of Wands. Somebody here is waiting, so that's a no. Wanting balance, healing... But again, there's an ending here that needs to happen. There's an ending here that needs to happen. There needs to be truth and clarity on that ending. 
there needs to be a conversation spoke. Somebody's in a waiting part right now. Maybe even still pouring into their self. Feeling like there's still a lot of self-love. Maybe there's an energy here, especially with the Hierophant, that they could be reevaluating their values, their morals. There could be something here where this person's unsure how to bring balance because of either a lifestyle that they were taught to live, a tradition that they have in their life, a belief, something that this person holds in high regard that they were taught is like a non-negotiable. That kind of teeters them in between. You know, you feeling like there's an energy here where you feel like this person either missed their opportunity, missed their chance because they weren't willing to make a choice. There's also something here where you could be waiting for this person to come back in and offer you something. In this meantime, I feel like the universe could come in and offer you a cup. I'm hearing a diamond in the rough. I feel like this is going to be the kind of person that you want to keep, even if it's not a lover. I feel like it's going to be hard for you to see this person because you could be wrapped up in the emotion with this and really feeling like you're in between limbo because I'm getting that it's like you know that this connection is deep. You know that there's a sense of stability here, but there's also chaos attached to that stability. Feeling like you guys are so much the same, but we're so fucking different. It's very complicated. But again, they could be bringing you like a diamond in the rough, either a friend, a lover, an acquaintance, someone that I feel like they're trying to bring to bless you right now while you're going through this energy. But be careful of not seeing this person or getting to a point where you're making a head over heart decision. I feel like your heart's going to want to go out and hang out with this person and get to know them and do all those things. But your head could be like, no, don't put yourself in that situation. You could also be getting some sort of message of truth when it comes to money or some sort of investments. Um, any, any actions? The fool, the magician, this person could be manifesting or you could get to a point where you're manifesting Pisces. What should Pisces do? We have the Queen of Pentacles, remain stable, grounded, do things that you feel very passionate about, drawn to, do the things that feel very fun, um, bring major change and transformation. There could be a sense of fear or something going on when it comes to your home, your family, your legacy. This could also have to do with money or career. So there is going to be some sort of change or transformation that you need to that you need to do. Whether it's your career, your money, your home, your car. Y'all, you might need to go buy a new washer and dryer. There is action that you need to be taking. They're telling you to focus on that right now. Do the things that make you feel like you have a sense of spark when you get out of bed. Do the things that make you feel like when you get done drinking your coffee, you're excited to go get it done because it's going to be fun. It's going to be passionate. It's going get, to get you out of the house. It's going to get you moving. That's what you need to be focused on. While this person with the devil and the emperor underneath and the five of pentacles feels left out, overthinks, obsesses, tries to have control, but feels like they're losing control. It has everything to do with the reunion in you. There's an energy here where you could have definitely told this person, you know, I, I want to reunite with you, but I want to reunite with you in a way where I don't feel left out, where a way where we are both feeling satisfied. You guys are showing up as an emperor and empress, but again, there's an energy here where this person feels left out there this person has the devil energy in the five of pentacles there's a lack mentality there's an obsessively thinking about the things that aren't working out the things that aren't going in this person's favor a very pessimistic attitude and i feel like if you're not careful this person's energy is going to be able to rub off on you which is the reason they're telling you to focus on major change and transformation in your life right now there's things that you could definitely be scared of doing if Taking leaps, whatever it is, or maybe even putting it off, procrastinating. Quit doing that. I regret my past choices and mistakes. I wish I could have another chance with you. Woo! I'm feeling emotionally void without you. Do you know what I'm hearing? I'm hearing that song, Without You. And it has Molly Cyrus in it. Um, and I don't remember the other song. Or who else sings it, but yeah. Judgment. I'm making the decision once and for all to turn this around. I want to fight for this connection. I just do not know how. I seek strength and courage. I kept those secrets. Nope. I kept those secrets is what I said. 
There's still secrets you don't know. It doesn't have to be really bad secrets. It could be the way this person feels. It could be things that this person's been going through. It could be anything. All those secrets I kept caught up with me, each and every one of them. I feel like this person was very blocked. Very blocked when you met them. So blocked that you don't even want a reunion with this person because you feel like the only thing this person wants from you is passion, fun, maybe a little booty booty. That's about it. You're like, no, I'm good. I'm good. If you can't come to my house and help me cook dinner and help me clean, we ain't got nothing to do. With, we ain't got nothing to do. Sorry. I did not see your value and your worth when we were together. Pisces. Yeah, I feel like this person hasn't moved on, even though it might appear that they have. I feel like ultimately, again, it's an energy here because I feel like this person feels that a part of them died when they met you. And I said it in this reading at the beginning. There's an energy here where when this person met you, you were brought into their life to make them feel joy, to make them feel that spark, that fun, to laugh again, to see that life isn't that serious. Life life really ain't that serious. You know, if we can't laugh and have fun and try to get through the days and feel lighthearted and enjoy it, then what the fuck are we doing here? And I feel like you really brought this sense of peace and calm and lighthearted energy to the table. And again, I feel like this person took it for fucking granted. I feel like they didn't invest with you. They didn't work with you. They didn't try to get to know you. They didn't put the effort in. They didn't see your value. There were so many didn'ts here that it got to a point where you asked yourself, what am I holding on for? I'm going to be successful and happy. That's inevitable. It's more of a, are you going to join me on this, on this journey? And I feel like you really quickly seen that maybe there was parts of this person that you didn't want to know or get to see because the parts that you were getting to know and see were the parts that were hurting you. And yeah, I feel like this person watches you and keeps tabs on you and really holds you in high regard and sees you as one of a kind and really misses your energy and misses the way you talk to them and misses the way you made them feel. There's an energy here where they felt like you, you really matched them. You really showed up for them. And I just heard when I didn't deserve it. Okie dokie pokey. Well, we're going to leave that here. Have a blessed day, guys.